Okay, this one's for uh, Johnny Davro and Slayer, uh, G. Bluer. And uh, I uh, built this little bobbin bedini I showed in my last video, a little uh, pulse motor deal. And uh, Johnny uh, wrote and said, I wonder if it'd work off the SEC. And it does. Now, I've got a SEC 15. This is Dr. Stifler's SEC 15 3. And I've got uh, one wire coming out of it. You can probably not even see that little red wire. That's 30 gauge wire. That's very fine wire coming off of this tower right here that is not connected to the other tower. And this is on right now. These are on full bright, but it's broad daylight. And that's the little SEC 15-3. That's my home built one. And I'm running it today off a little 12 volt battery. And um, what I wanted to show here was uh, Dr. Stifler's SEC-15 um, is very amazing as far as what it can do. And uh, this was a demonstration of that. There's no connection between these two towers. The energy is coming across space. I have a little tester. You can see this uh, little uh, LED light up here. And that's, uh, that's the energy coming uh, right across space there. It picks up on this tower here. And then it's coming out uh, that one wire this direction. And I told Johnny, I says, I think I can run this uh, quite a ways away. So I've got that little wire running way over here. And that's my little bobbin Bedini motor running right there. And it's got a little pulse action going. There's the voltage on the cap. I've got the same cap that I had in my last video. It's a 2200 microfarad 50 volt cap. Probably the wrong one, but it works. And the energy's coming in to the unit through this one wire. And this was the first thing that got me so hooked on Dr. Stifler's SEC, is evidently longitudinal waves of energy can transition through one wire and then be split with this AV plug into a plus and minus. And light lights are actually run a motor. And you can see that's running there, and then Maggie's eyes are going too. And Maggie's got a connection through inductance uh, between the spinning magnet and her coil. And this is a great demonstration of pretty much everything that Dr. Stifler's uh, said. Uh, the SEC 15, the SEC 18, his whole SEC series produce an energy that transitions out away from the unit in uh, waveforms that can be captured again and put to use. And like I say, that's voltage on that capacitor that's staying while this is under load. And I'm actually driving a motor, basically, under load. Maggie is a load right there. So this isn't just a free-floating rotor. That rotor is actually being dragged down by Maggie, who constitutes a load. And that's the little Bob and Bedini motor um, that I showed in my last video mounted. And that's the circuit. Uh, if you want to go back one video and you can see the whole circuit. Uh, for the little uh, one I did here, I eliminated the um, potentiometer and this 100 ohm. That's just a, a 1.5K ohm resistor on the one I'm showing today. And there is no uh, battery here. It's just the LED so that I can show it working. Now, this will actually run better if you put a diode in there instead of an LED. A little uh, 1N914 uh, uh, switching diode works better than this LED, but I like this because it shows you that it's running. And uh, anyway, I thought uh, people would enjoy this. And this is the last thing I wanted to show. Here's my tester. That energy is on the Bedini. And it's on it all over the place. And I thought that was very interesting that this... Uh, this Bedini motor will work even though th this energy is all over it. And I thought that was very, very interesting that it's not disturbing the transistor in this circuit at all. And the uh, energy that's flowing in through that one wire is feeding this circuit and it's not disturbing it the circuit's going ahead and running even though it's got this energy all over it. Even on these clip leads at the voltmeter here. Okay, that's my video for today. Thanks for watching. This one was for mainly for Johnny. There you go, Johnny.
Next thing's an earth battery, I guess, if I can build one. 